people all over the world are being forced to do things they know are based on lies, yet they do them anyway out of fear, as well as seeking a sense of normality back in their lives. Jesus said in Luke 21, verse 26 and 27, that men's hearts are going to be failing them for fear because they're looking after those things which are coming on the earth. He says that even the powers of heaven shall be shaking. But why is all this happening? Look at the next verse. They shall see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Most are in fear because all that's happening is very confusing for most people who simply don't know what to do. Some are fearful because they know Christ is coming and they're just not ready because their apostate pastors don't know how to ready them and they feel they're unable to study their Bibles on their own. But would a God that created all things seen and unseen be unable to write a book his own children can understand? You know, that's why the Vatican put the Bible on the Index of Forbidden Books via their decree set forth by the Council of Valencia in the year 1229 AD. They knew that in so doing would keep the people in confusion. Most are frightened because without the peace of Jesus in their hearts, they have no clue as to what to do to calm themselves down. But for the obedient Christians, all of what we see proves our God is still in control, and that calms our hearts. Everything we see happening today was prophesied thousands of years ago to be this way. And this includes how it all ends for the Christians, and that is amazing good news for the child of God. Now, yes, the media is making up their own traumatizing narrative on multiple points day in and day out so as to generate as much fear as possible into the hearts of the people. Because, as we all know, Rome, who controls everything now, is infamous in how it has always used fear to control the masses. They did it in their infancy in 63 BC when they took Palestine all the way up to their demise 2,000 years ago when the enemy of souls transferred his powers from pagan Rome to papal Rome, exactly as prophesied in Revelation 13.4. In so doing, the popes used fear to control the people in very graphic ways during the Inquisition. Looking forward a few centuries, we see the popes did it again during the Holocaust, using their Catholic emperor, Adolf Hitler. And they have been doing it for quite some time now, using the Islamic hordes who bow in worship to the Vatican-inspired Quran. And as they continue their persecution of the Christians the world over using Islam, the church and state beast in Rome is now being honored and portrayed as the world's moral authority by all the political leaders who are now working hand in hand with the church and state preachers who, as prophesied, created an image to the beast in Rome the very day they signed on to their long prophesied 501c3 contract to show loyalty to the Pope by echoing his global agenda from every church on earth. Still, how on earth can I declare these are joyous times? Well, for students of prophecy, you know all too well what I'm going to say next. But for those that do not study the Bible verse by verse so as to dig up every pearl of truth each and every day, listen closely. For what I'm about to say needs to be heard. For if you have ears to hear this, you too can see what we see, if even just for a moment. But the nice thing is, you cannot unhear it. Later, when the seed of truth is watered, you might just escape damnation when you finally realize just what Jesus has done for you and your family, wherein you not only escape damnation, but the abject fear that leads up to it. And so if you strip away all the lies being pushed by the media, regarding the obvious medical, civil, political, and socialist agendas. If you look past the silly claims of climate change or global warming, wherein they claim CO2, which, by the way, is very beneficial for trees and plants to grow, but they're somehow claiming it's now destroying the planet, even though the CO2 levels of today is at the exact same level as it was in 1910 when next to no one had a car. If you look past the government's mass murder of all their citizens all over the world via wars, abortions, and highly toxic medical procedures of late regarding a certain virus I won't mention, 
if you do all this, if you strip all this away, you will then see everything they're doing is nothing more than a global distraction perpetrated by the man of sin in Rome, who met, by the way, with all the CEOs, all the church leaders, all the political leaders, and even the common man in massive numbers the last few years to make sure this is all going to go down the way he demands. And he does demand loyal obedience, and he'll even use gifts of political power and even trillions in financial gain to get these people to follow his lead. And sadly, he even used assassination of those refusing to obey. And so if you ignore all their strange claims in the media, you will see that all the fear-mongering and all the unjust laws against the common man is nothing more than the largest orchestrated cover-up in the history of mankind. When you ignore all that the media is pumping into the brains of the people and look at what is really happening right in front of everyone's eyes, billions of people on earth are so distracted by the lies being spewed by the media that next to no one can see that Jesus Christ's return is the reason for the upheaval in nature, society, politics, and even the church. All of it declares everyone needs to prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. We are so close to the end now that they are actually setting up the system to enforce the mark of the beast by preventing the buying and selling of people who refuse to perform a certain medical procedure before being allowed access to all sorts of businesses as well as public venues the world over. Soon that global system to prevent buying and selling without a certain medical procedure will be switched to preventing all people on earth from buying and selling without declaring their loyalty to the Pope by agreeing with his global mandate that all people keep Sunday holy to stop the so-called climate change disasters. Now yes, those disasters are very real, and they are about to go off the chart, but it has nothing to do with global warming or climate change. All that's happening was prophesied to happen exactly as it's supposed to, directly before Jesus returns to end all life on earth. As prophesied, Satan is using the Pope and his loyal cohorts in government and the churches to distract everyone from knowing the end is near, so as to make sure that no one is ready for the return of Christ. Christ has died. Christ has risen. And Christ will come again. We truly are living in joyous times. Thank you for watching. God bless.